Good morning, students. So, in our last class, we start the chapter application of derivative, chapter number six. And in this chapter, first topic, we start rate of change of quantities. And under this rate of change of quantities, we have done some examples. Up to example number six, we have done. So today we start the exercise 6.1 here and the chapter is actually very easy. So the first one, you, if you see the first question, find the rate of change of the area of a circle with respect to its radius r when r equal to 3, r equal to 4. That means first of all, if you see this question, here we have to find out the rate of change of the area of a circle. So that means we need here the formula of area of a circle. And all of you know the area of a circle formula is pi r square, isn't it? So that's why here if we define area by a and if we define the radius by r, so the formula we write here a equal to pi r square. Now the rate of change of the area with respect to its radius. So that means we have to define set this area with respect to r. And if we define set this one, then we write da by dr equals to d dr of pi r square and all of you know pi is a constant term so that's why if we take pi outside then d dr of r square if we define z then all of you know the formula is uh, d dx of x to the power n formula we have to apply here and then the answer is n into x to the power n minus 1 so for that reason here the answer is twice r so ultimately when we define z da by dr then the result we get twice pi r after getting the value of da by dr now here two radius are given first one is given r equal to 3 and second one is r equal to 4 so first of all r equal to 3 if we put in da by dr then if you see here uh, the result we get 6 pi is it clear hence so the area of a circle is changing at the rate is how much 6 pi centimeter square per second when the radius is 3 similarly if we put 4 then we get 8 pi and this one is the second answer which one is the area of the circle is changing at the rate of 8 pi centimeter square per second when the radius is 4 so this one is the first question here very simple and easy now we move to the second question and the second question is given here if you see the volume of a cube is increasing at the rate of 8 centimeter cube per second so that means volume of a cube so directly here we need the formula of a volume of a cube and it is increasing at the rate of 8 centimeter cube per second and the question is after that given how fast is the surface area increasing when the length of an edge is 12 centimeter this type of one question already we have done in our last class so now here how fast the surface area increase so surface area so that means here we need two formula first formula volume of a cube and the second formula we need surface area of a cube so in case of volume so if we consider the side bx so that's why volume of a cube obviously we write x cube and the volume of a cube if we define by v then v equal to x cube similarly the surface area surface area formula if we write surface area if we define by s then then the formula here we get 6 x square where x is the side is it clear so now here the volume of a cube is increasing at the rate rate is given that means dv dt is given here rate that means dv dt is given dv dt is given here 8 centimeter cube per second is it clear okay now after getting this one now the volume v equal to x cube we get and now this volume we have to define set with respect to time t if you define set this one with respect to time then we get dv by dt so dv by dt equal to here dv by dt equals to x cube so if you define set this x cube listen carefully if we define set this x cube then the result we get 3 x square is it clear 3 x square but we define set with respect to time so that's why using the chain rule again we have to define set this side x so that's why with this we have to write dx dt is it clear so for that reason when we have to define set this one dv by dt equals to 3x square 3x square and weight dx dt so that's why if we write 
already we know dv dt value is given how much 8 so dv dt equal to here we write and when we define set x cube then we get 3x square dx dt here we write and dv dt value, value is 8 so that's why if we put 8 here then after that 8 equals to we get 3x square dx dt and then if you cross multiply this 3x square then we get ultimately dx by dt equal to 8 by 3x square and we put this one is equation number 1 is it clear okay now after getting this one the second one is here surface area surface area formula is already mentioned s equal to 6x square again we have to define this one with respect to time again when we define this result 6 is the constant term so 6 come outside and ddt of x square so again the same process when we define set x square then we get twice x but it is not t so that's why here again we have to define this one so dx dt after writing this one 12x dx dt we get so now dx dt value is already we know how much 8 by 3x square so if we put this one is 8 by 3x square then ultimately the answer we get here 32 by x is it clear okay now here the age is given age is given 12 centimeter so that means here in place of x we have to write 12 centimeter and if we put 12 centimeter then ultimately we get here ds dt equal to 32 by 12 centimeter square per second and if we calculate finally we get 8 by 3 centimeter square per second so hence this one is our conclusion so the length of the edge of the cube is 12 centimeter then the surface area is increasing at the rate of how much 8 by 3 centimeter square per second is it clear so this one is our second question so now after that if you see the third one the third question is given here the radius of a circle is increasing uniformly at the rate of 3 cm per second so in this case the radius of circle is increasing so radius all of you know we define by r and increasing at the rate that means here directly we know dr dt is given dr dt equal to 3 cm per second given and here we have to find out find the rate at which the area of the circle is increasing when the radius is 10 cm so we have to find out the area of the circle increasing rate and the radius in which time the radius is here given when 10 cm so now here all of you know the area if we define by a the formula is pi r square so a equal to pi r square we write and then we have to define set with respect to time so dA by dt equal to here we get d dt of pi r square same process pi is a constant term and now here we have to define set this r square so when we define set r square then we get twice r but it is not t so using the chain rule if you define set this one again so we get dr by dt ultimately the result dA by dt equal to how much we get here twice pi r dr dt so now already we know the radius of a circle increasing rate is already mentioned dr by dt equal to how much mentioned 3 centimeter per second so dr dt equal to 3 centimeter per second here we have to put and after putting this one then here we get dA by dt equal to twice pi r into 3 ultimately 6 pi r now finally the radius radius is already mentioned radius is 10 centimeter so if we put r equal to 10 centimeter then da dt equal to ultimately how much we get here 60 pi centimeter square per second hence the rate at which the area of the circle is increasing when the radius is 10 centimeter is 60 centimeter square per second is it clear so this one is our third question now if we move to the next question question number four and the question number four is given here an edge of a variable cube now in this case cube mention is here variable cube is increasing at the rate of 3 cm per second how fast is the volume of the cube increasing when the edge is 10 cm long so in this case cube, cube here and now here how fast is the volume of the cube so that means we need the volume of a cube so if we consider the side bx or edge bx then the volume of a cube easily we can write v equal to x cube v equal to x cube so now here how fast is the volume of the cube increasing 
increasing that means we have to find out the rate so that's why if we define say the volume dv dt equal to so ddt of x cube again same process if you define say this one 3x square but it is not t so that's why again we have to define say this x so dx by dt using chain rule so now here ultimately the age of a variable cube is increasing at the rate that means the side increasing rate is mentioned here and it is mentioned as dx dt dx dt equal to how much given here 3 centimeter per second so in place of dx dt we have to put 3 centimeter per second and now here dv dt equal to if you put finally we get the answer is how much 9 x square and after that the age is already mentioned the age is already mentioned and the age is 10 centimeter long so that means x equal to 10 centimeter mention if you put here 10 centimeter then dv dt equal to 9 into 10 square ultimately 900 centimeter cube per second we get here is it clear so here today we have done four question so in our next class we have to continue this exercise so your task is what you have to copy this four question properly and maintain your fair copy that means especially the exercise copy you have to maintain properly is it clear okay thank you